beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to that. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed now write this down please all wealth comes from God do you know what that means that God is Abba everybody say Abba Abba means source that means every other thing including your business is only a channel the moment your business or your job becomes your source you are finished so all wealth and all blessings come from God that's number one then in addition look at me please all blessings come from God through men to men this is the second revelation you must have nothing really comes from God to you it comes from God through men to men hallelujah Who is into cloth in here, seated here? I'm seeing an anointing on you, my brother. This man wearing suit. Stand up. I don't know you, but this man is going far. I don't know him all, but I'm, what I'm seeing in the spirit, there is a mighty anointing, mighty anointing that is coming on you. For it is it's a true grace for wealth, but then you would dress kings believe me when i tell you this you will dress kings you will dress nobles god will connect you to great men of god across many spheres and you will experience the ministry of the holy ghost in unusual dimensions he will bring you ideas creative ideas of the spirit I release that grace upon you right now. Take that grace right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let's finish up. Where was I? All blessings. Now, imagine that gentleman. It's not just that it's today God wanted to say that to him. Listen, listen, listen. The day you find the man sent to you is the day God has come to you. if your pastor refused to put this program what you saw in your dream will still not happen even though god already said it please there are certain things you have to this is the world of men don't say it's only god no 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 god tells david you are king samuel says no the answer is no. David is left in the wilderness. 
and God does not bypass him to say you are wasting my time he comes to plead with a man and say please how long shall you weep seeing that I've rejected Saul as king carry the horn don't waste this man's time men can define the destinies of others now this is not in some manipulative way but it is true God blesses men through men one man's signature can open gates over your life in this kingdom who hates you does not matter but who likes you oh Esther who likes you oh Ruth who likes you hallelujah please don't miss tonight I have to stop here let me reserve what else I have to share for tonight listen to me all wealth comes from God it comes through men to men I've spoken about everywhere here you may not be called into these various places but this one concerns you for sure it is your business hallelujah tonight I'm going to be sharing with you principles now I know that seated here are business veterans your pastor being one of them many of you here are doing well and I don't mean to insult your pedigree and make it look as though you do not understand your art but let me tell you there are superior dimensions in the spirit let me round up by teaching you three levels of wealth There are seven dimensions of prosperity the Lord revealed to me that will come to the body of Christ before Christ returns. We are only in the third dimension now. The first level of wealth is called transactional wealth. This is the level where you receive financial rewards among many other rewards for packaging your value turning it into products and services serving it with excellence to a targeted consumer base you call that business are we together so you are paid in exchange for your time and the value that you provide that is a level the limitation is that the price attached to it is fixed if you are a billionaire and this bottle of water is how many how, how much is this say six rands you are not going to pay a million rands for this even though you have it because it is valuable but not that scarce are we together the second level of wealth is called transformational wealth here you do not sell your value you dispense it freely you change lives and then they are mandated according to the reward system of the kingdom to bless you as an expression of their perception of your value that is why a man of God may not charge you money he will still bless you you may never even know him but God's reward system mandates that one day according to his system of justice he will be blessed for what he has done the power of transformational wealth is that you are blessed based on the perception of how valuable you are in the eyes of the giver so someone can give your man of God a hundred rands and another will say you blessed me so much you changed my life here's a million rands so in one day you can quantum leap into dimensions now the second level is very difficult because you will be a fool for many years people will take you for granted you will give and pour yourself into people many people will trivialize your impact but the bible never said you will reap where you sowed he said you will reap what you sowed you can sow in south africa and reap in the u.s the earth is a soil any location authorized by God can bring you a harvest 
so if all you do is business and you are not changing lives you will be slow listen one man's thank you can be your profit for 10 years you must explore all the avenues that fast track your financial growth you can sell your value and have a snail-like movement for many decades and yet one person can look at you and say apostle thank you you organize the excel conference thank you to your dear wife would you want me to override the checks for this conference for the next 10 years transformational wealth the third value of wealth the third level of wealth is the highest as revealed of the three is called sovereign wealth wealth by the finger of God the power of the prophetic Ezra chapter 6 and verse 14 listen to me it is true that the prophetic can bless And the elders of the Jews built it and they prospered through the prophesying of Haggai the prophet and Zechariah the son of Edo. And they built it and finished it according to the commandment of the God of Israel through the prophesying. Not through blocks and cement. They built and finished through the prophesying. Let me tell you this. The prophetic has been abused and manipulated in many circles in Africa, respectfully speaking and i speak as one who is part of the body of christ i never speak against the body of christ i'm part of it i speak with all honor but it is true that there's been a lot of imbalances and exaggerations and abuses here and there but the prophetic still works it can change a man's life overnight let me tell you how the prophetic works realities in the realm of the spirit all exist what you call creation is simply transportation from the realm of the spirit what we call in this realm creation is simply a system that transports spiritual realities from a realm and a domain that is more than the three-dimensional realm listen that means the favor on your life already exists in the realm of the spirit the bible says that god had blessed us with all blessings spiritual blessings but they reside in the heavenly places and are routed through the office of the christ this was paul's doctrine to the church in ephesus are we together now and now the bible says listen carefully that because those things are in the spirit they exist the assignment of the prophetic is to give them dates and make them appear To appoint unto them that mourn you can make a man's next year become tomorrow that, that's the prophetic please believe what I'm telling you in the land of Samaria women were eating their future because that's what happens when people are stressed they eat their future they eat their capital they eat their children suddenly news gets to Elisha and he stands under the influence of the spirit and says by this time tomorrow he was not revealing what would have happened he was making something that already existed in the realm of the spirit listen everything you are looking for is also looking for you the prophetic accelerates your connection yes the job you seek is finding you too the lifting you seek is finding you too but it can come at a slow rate that your lifetime may not accommodate so the prophetic with one word truly inspired of the spirit four lepers the prophetic once the prophetic word is uttered, is uttered the spirit of wisdom begins to hover around the horizon to look for the physical actors that will make that prophecy come to pass There is a science to prophecy it can be understood so when I speak over your life I'm not just speaking over your life by the Spirit I am calling what must enter your life within the time allocated to make that word not look like a lie so if it takes favor to make sure that word does not fall 
See, the word of God is a tray, it's a messenger. It returns to God as proof that what was on it was delivered. The word of God is a tray. It carries favor, it carries healing, it carries blessings. So if I send you, you hold this and you bring it to me. If I see you returning back with an empty saucer, it's proof that what was on it reached me. So the word of God returns to him as proof that it got to the receiver so that he will send it again there is the spoken word but there is the sent word the sent word is a messenger that does not fail mobile telecommunication systems is an attempt to explain how the word of God works there are 7.2 billion people on earth but I can type a text right now and send it to you it will meet a billion waves there but it will push them till it gets to your phone and that that text is quick and powerful is so sharp it can cut every other network it's an attempt to explain the word of god so that when words come you don't just say amen but you understand what should be happening if I declare and I say may your destiny help us find you you don't just say amen you expect them immediately as you walk out of here and someone says sorry I remember my wrong since 2017 I should have reached you you are now not surprised because you now know prophecy is at work we are going to pray Hello, listen these are the systems of the kingdom that make men. Dominion is a resultant effect of your comprehending the ways of the kingdom. The weightiness, the vastness, and the accuracy of the spiritual information that you sustain is what defines your possibilities in this kingdom. Hallelujah. When our backs were against the wall, and it looked as if it was all you made up. And we're standing here. Hear me. I am a product of many anointings. I am a product of many graces. I have partaken of the investment that is upon the body of Christ. The Lord wants to supply for us the grace. I know we have the grand, the, the, the evening session tonight. And I apologize for taking our time. But I just want to wrap up this time. We'll have the time to pray for people again in the evening. We may not have the time to do that. But I came here with a burden this morning and this afternoon. I want you to taste of a dimension of the grace and the power of God that is truly able to shift men. You see, the Bible says, and by a prophet, the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. And by a prophet, they were preserved. This, this is not some nonsense and rubbish just, just around to manipulate your mind. When the Lord Jesus appeared to me, I would share more on my encounter, hopefully maybe by night. He stretched forth his hand towards me and a light came. How I did not die is a mystery. Please listen to me. It was like taking the sun and putting it inside an ant and in another vision as I would have the Lord spoke to me and said my son on this day I give you my presence as a gift and I saw an angel of the Lord that stands by me and he said he will walk with you and I said what is his name he said he's called the angel of the Lord's presence
and then in another encounter the Lord gave me an instruction he said every nation and every territory I will send you to there must be someone in that nation that the light that came from me to you that light must find someone within that nation I want to pray for you it is the light that produces the miracles just help me with the symbol thank you we're around you I apologize if in any way I sound arrogant no this is not it's not in any way the boasting of the flesh we stand as ordinary people who have been helped by the spirit we are not ashamed to declare our limitation outside of his influence but please hear me in the next five minutes if you can believe what will happen to you you will marvel and wonder at the immutability the forcefulness of the power and the grace of God please lift your voice in one minute and declare enough is enough I'm tired of this level in the spirit please someone pray you're a man of God it's time to pray there are people that pray in this church South Africa pray Skeparus Kelandas Kabaha Shalata Shift me financially, take me to another dimension. Shift my ministry to another dimension. My business. Hallelujah. Please listen. Every blessed man knows that you prosper based on your backing from the realm of the spirit. James chapter 2 and verse 26. Apostle James was teaching on faith and works. And he veered off and borrowed a kingdom concept. He says, for as the body without a spirit is dead. You kill the body of anything by taking its spirit component away from it. And you give life to everybody. Your business is a body. Where is the spirit that backs it? Your job is a body. Where is the spirit that backs it? Because James said when all you have is a body without the spirit component that backs it, it is dead. Your church is a body. Where is the spirit component that backs it? It is only marvelous in our eyes when it is the Lord's doing. I want to shift you from being ordinary. Men of God, it's time for us to rise to supernatural dimensions of power. Apostles and prophets and teachers, business people, it's time for you to rise by a mystery man cannot understand. By what force does your business move forward? How come you attract clients from all over the world? It is by the Spirit. Hallelujah. Now listen. Our time is gone. Just two prayers. I want to release the grace for speed. Please hear me. The Bible says, And the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah, and he ran on barefoot and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Israel. When speed is on you, you can start from anywhere to anywhere. Listen. As I pray for you, the power of God will come on you. Many of you will start running physically. Please help them and bring them so they don't injure themselves, whether you are an usher or not. I stand in the name of Jesus. 
and I decree and declare house of treasures South Africa take the grace for speed take that grace now take that grace now help them take that grace now help them please speed I take away delay by the Spirit of God I come with the rod of a higher priesthood I shift you in ministry I shift you in business speed speed help them help them help them speed hold them so they don't enjoy themselves they are not running on their own please hold them speed Kaparata shikata. speed hold them please hold that lady please let her not injure herself please whether you are an usher or not hold them anyone running around so that they don't enjoy themselves I shift you again I'm praying take that grace take that grace take that grace take that grace in business take that grace in ministry take that grace I bring you the power of the Holy Ghost upon your life ideas quick understanding Time to pray for you. Take that grace. 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 Never be the same in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The last prayer, Acts chapter 12. The influence has a gate. Acts chapter 12. We're rounding up. Please look up. Now, about that time, Herod the king stretched forth his hand. To vex certain of the Jews. Quickly please. Verse 2. And he killed James the brother of John with the sword. 3. And because he saw that it pleased the Jews. He proceeded further to take Peter also. Next verse 4. And when he had apprehended him. He put him where? Remember the purpose was to shut his influence. So he kept him in prison. And delivered him to four quaternions of soldiers to keep him. Intending after Easter. To bring him forth to the people five peter was therefore kept in prison but prayer was made without season of the church unto god for him now watch what is about to happen to someone and herod would have brought him forth the same night peter was sleeping between two soldiers bound with hands and chains and the keepers before the door kept the prison next verse hallelujah and behold look up i want to show you how doors open that bring a man to a realm of influence the angel of the Lord came upon him and a light shined in prison where did the light start shining the light comes to you in prison first and then he smote Peter by the side saying raise him up arise up quickly and his chains fell off his hands the chains had fallen but he was still in prison follow the progression next verse the angel said to him gird thyself and bind on thy sandals and he did and he said unto him cast thy garment about thee and follow me verse 9 now watch this he went out and followed him and wished not that it was true which was done by the angel but thought he saw a vision verse 10 is where the mystery is watch this and when they were past the first gate the prison had three gates the first gate brings you out of that place of dungeon then he went to the second gate you are out but you are not yet in the city you are not in the prison but you are not in the city either and then he came to a mysterious gate called the iron gate take note immediately he said this is the gate that leads to where the city there is a gate 
that leads to the city for your business for your products and he said he opened the gates and he went out when that gate opens the next thing you see is the city influence this is the gate that grants you access to the hear ye him anointing there is a grace that makes a generation hear you just because you have something to sell or something to say does not mean people will come to reward your value he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder can I pray that prayer for you in the name of Jesus house of treasures South Africa business people politicians men and women of God I stand by the rod of the prophetic and the apostolic and I speak to the gate that must be open for your influence Ephata, be open be open for your business be open for ministry be open in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah apostle please can you come up just for a moment now watch this I want to do something that I usually do not do please listen to me I know that the concept of seeds and sowing and giving unfortunately but respectfully has been so abused in the body of Christ it's not because people are greedy it's just because respectfully speaking we men of God have not demonstrated the kind of integrity that may make people to freely give that is the truth it's not that people are greedy and we take responsibility as men of God we are men of God but we are also students in the school of the spirit and we must not be ashamed to learn and to adjust if and when the need arises That's right. hallelujah but I will tell you this I love you too much to not communicate to you the whole counsel of God I know that there are people who have been manipulated I know that there are people who have been all kinds of things have happened but listen to me I want you right now and in the evening you're going to stay with God and agree with God on a sacrifice that you're going to connect with in this meeting now please if you don't believe what I'm saying no problem at all there is no pressure whatsoever on you I fear God and I serve him with my heart God has made me by his grace a man of integrity even on this wise I would not come from Nigeria to come and deceive you no I fear God I plan to last in ministry That's right. but let me tell you I will I will not lie to you and deceive you because of fear of being misunderstood the Bible says let God be true and all men a liar all men liars hallelujah praise God as I'm standing here I'm standing with my own seat too okay no no when I give I don't take again God bless you for you and them. watch this listen men of God you don't make money off members you make money off your obedience your obedience to the truth that is written if you are not a practitioner of what you teach you will be a victim of what you teach it is true I cannot be talking of sowing and giving and then I stand back myself no God honors his word you don't obey it it will not work Deuteronomy 28 and verse 1 it shall come to pass if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God to do and observe all that I command thee this day then the Lord all of these blessings shall come upon you you know the Lord shall exalt you you will be above all the nations of the earth I believe this I want to challenge everyone where do these seeds go to they don't go to heaven they are right here on earth they will be counted right here and be used I think um, a pastor was whispering to me that the, the God blessed them with a the property they're about to acquire or something like that wonderful 
So there's no need playing games and lying as if the money will evaporate and enter heaven. No, no, no. Right after the service, it's going to be counted and it will be used for kingdom advance. But the Bible says there is a mystery that when you give on earth, you stand. There is a Melchizedek that also stands in heaven. Concurrently, as that is happening, there is a spiritual transaction. And Melchizedek blessed Abraham and said, Blessed be Abraham, son of the Most High, possessor of the heavens and the earth. Hallelujah. I want to challenge you. You're here and God has already put it in your heart. You have the seed you can sow. Some of you may need time to just go back home. Think through with your wives, your families. Let it be a sacrifice that you are bringing. You're saying, Apostle, I believe. Please do not bring anything if you don't believe this. There's no point bringing anything and acting as though it was a manipulation. I say that because I believe that we're enlightened believers. We're believers who have understanding. And I'm speaking to people from other nations too. I'm sure that there should be a way of connecting into this. That, that, that's true. So um, by evening, I'm going to be praying here. And please do not miss the evening. I want to share something very powerful. And then... We'll make it a miracle service we'll have the opportunity to pray and it will also be an impartation that people will come and just receive something solid look if it's not on you it's not on you period there's there's no need hoping and wishing if favor is not on you is not on you if if the grace for healing is not on you is not on you if the grace for wealth and prosperity is not on you is not on you right. i am very very i'm not ashamed of the graces i do not have i seek them with honor i seek them with humility That's right. praise the lord tonight god will be making all grace abound towards us hallelujah i asked your apostle to stand in honor because he is the man of god over this place i want to pray for you and um, when I pray for you, I'm going to give a minute before I, you know, we just wrap up the service. If you have your seed, your, I'm not just saying something you put in your pocket and come to give. I wish I had time. I would have told you my experiences and, and seeds that I have had to release to shift my life into several dimensions. This is not in any way, I will repeat, to manipulate resources from your hand. But this is true. Let God be true and let every man be a liar. You can open the tulip gates over your life and your business right here in South Africa. That's right. I believe that if I challenge people to sow and they sow and nothing happens, I should return their money because it's nonsense. I told you I prayed a prayer and I told God, I said, may I never meet with people twice to change their lives. No. Father, we stand before you because we believe you are true. You have revealed to us the cosmos and your end time agenda, your desire to see to it that the Christ be revealed and be glorified in and through our lives. You have shown us the places that we occupy in destiny and you have shown us the value of accessing the resources of heaven. Lord, we want to be an uncompromising generation, a generation that reflects Christ truly, a generation that conquers the cosmos in experience. And one of our desires is that you shift us financially. Amen. Lord, I stand with Apostle Felix in agreement that as we commit ourselves to this sacrifice even by the Spirit, I ask you in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, shift us to levels unimagined. Amen. For some of you, may this be what will shift your ministry. You will quantum leap to a strange dimension of supplies. For some of you, may this be the seed that takes your business global. Amen. I bless you with the blessings of heaven. And I decree and declare I give your seed a voice in the realm of the spirit. I command it, go around South Africa, gather your kind, return to the givers a thousandfold. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Men of God, don't go yet. Before you go, please, let's put our hands together for the Lord. When you read the scripture that the church prayed and Peter, an angel of the Lord was dispatched to Peter. 
I just felt this urge that we pray for my wife for the perfection of her health. Amen. God gave me this woman 20 years ago and I value her so much. I made a vow to God that as long as she's alive from the day we got married, no woman will see my nakedness. And I've honored it for 20 years. And, and I want you to pray for her earnestly. I told God I don't want another woman. I want this woman. I said it several times to God. And I believe that with the graces that are here today, we can join forces to chase. The Bible says one will chase a thousand. And two will put ten thousand to flight. And I believe that there are so many graces here. And, and it just came into my spirit that we should take advantage of this moment. And just pray for her. Praise the Lord. You know, I, I had intended to pray um, in the office. But since you have said it, we're going to pray. Listen, there's nothing to hide. You know, it's, it's, it's not an embarrassment for the world to know we are men. They should just know we are men helped by God. Praise the Lord. So that a man of God's wife or a man of God has a health challenge, please come. And, and um, um, it should not be a, a thing of discussion that we talk about as though it should be a thing of honor for us to cry, to see to it that the power and the glory of God comes upon it. You see this precious woman of God, they've taken care of me so greatly. And um, he, we, we were at breakfast yesterday and I, I watched him and his wife. I saw the passion, the honor, the regard. Listen, death is a spirit. It can hear. It can move away from you. That's right. Can I request the precious woman of God, please come. You made a way please help your wife you made a way listen this is why he gave unto some please help her she's under the anointing I have seen miracles in my life believe me when I tell you this I am a miracle myself many years ago I was diagnosed with a fungal infection that ate my head literally. Hair was not supposed to grow on my head again. There was nothing I didn't go through. They cultured my head. See, the Bible says the things that are written are for time. They are for our learning. So that we through the comfort of scripture might find hope. The thing I know about God is that when you conquer a realm. Authority is given to you to bring others out of that realm too. Hallelujah. We're not going to keep us standing here, but let me tell you this. Scripture says, I will not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. South Africa, house of treasures, stretch your hand to the angels over this house and let us speak. I will request every great servant of God, you can stretch your hand from where you are and let's speak over this precious woman of God. And Hezekiah turned his face to the world and said, Lord, remember how that I have walked diligently before you. And the Lord sends his servant again in the name of Jesus. Oh, death, where is your sting? Oh, grave, where is your victory? Please place your hand on her chest in the name of Jesus I declare right now every devil leaves now leaves now leaves now I bring you the power of the Holy Ghost and in the name of Jesus we pray as a church in South Africa we pray as house of treasures you will leave and see the fullness of your days in hell Amen. you will see your children's children Amen. we close the gates of the grave Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. we speak I stand in agreement with every man and woman of God in this place with the spiritual voices over this territory in the name of Jesus we banish death you are a spirit you have a voice we call you by name and we end your influence over her life 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 
in the name of Jesus life. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel, comment on it, like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Salaska de Bashkana Kata Branda Katekatos. Kata Branda Kata Pakotosko to break a take a legata. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.